Good afternoon, everyone. Sorter Fan 1738 here, and welcome to another installment of LNER Loco Profiles. Today, we will be talking about the Peppercorn A1. Hope you guys enjoy. The Fast A1 class was an important part of Thompson's standardization scheme, but most of his specific development efforts went towards the A2 3 before he retired in 1946. In fact, the only A1 built during his tenure was the prototype rebuild of A1 1 Great Northern. Planning for the new A1 locomotive did start before Thompson's retirement, but it was slow. With his retirement imminent, it would appear that the drawing office staff were deliberately slow in drawing up plans and only started detailed drawings for the rear part of the new locomotives. Almost as soon as Peppercorn was in control, work commenced on the front of the locomotive design. Over these years, the overall plans changed from a locomotive resembling the A1-1 to one with a standard boiler and with a conventional position for the front bogey. A number of the draft drawings included streamlining, but this was never adopted. In, in May 1948, it was decided to fit the Kyle exhaust arrangement. As with the Peppercorn A2s, there was insufficient space in the smoke box for both the Kyle exhaust and the self-cleaning apparatus. Hence, they never, they never suffered from the poor steaming which the non culture A2 suffered from. The first A1, number 60114, entered traffic in August 1948. A total of 49 were built in four batches between 1948 and 1949. A 50th one was, was built in 2008 by the A1 Steam Locomotive Trust. Five of the A1s were fitted with Timken roller bearings on all of their axles. These had already been tried successfully on some of the A4 tenders. These bearings were a trial with the intention of increasing the period between heavy repairs. This was successful, but was never expanded to include other members of, of the class. One problem with the Kyle Trap exhaust arrangement was, the, was that the sound of the ejectors while standing in the station was considerably louder than tannoy announcements. Three silencers were fitted experimentally and were found to work. Similar silences were then recommended for the remaining Peppercorn A1s and the Kyle Chap fitted Peppercorn A2s. Early on, there were often problems with live steam reaching the cab and causing significant discomfort for the engineman. It took a few years to track down the various sources, but these were fixed. The A1s were quickly built and were quickly accepted by staff who had been suffering shortages of locomotives and repair material since World War II. They started work with heavy express passenger trains. Withdrawal started with number 60123HA Ivet in October 1962 after an accident. The last Peppercorn May ones were withdrawn in 1966. So there we have it, the full history of the Peppercorn A1s. In my opinion, these are one of my favorite locomotive designs built by the LNER. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys next time for whenever we talk about the Peppercorn A2s. Thanks for watching.